Okay, we are going to talk about designing a letterhead for the concert tour. Uh, uh, part two, opening act. Um, a letterhead is basically a an official business document. Um, so, as you begin the task of setting up and publicizing your band, you'll be communicating with agents, tour operators, club owners, and potential employees. Having a letterhead stationary will give your band a professional image as you send letters and other types of correspondence. In this project, you'll use your desktop publishing skills to design your band's letterhead. So I, I use uh, official letterhead like when I do use letters of recommendation for students or other uh, colleagues. Um, sometimes uh, businesses, I need to ask them if they want to donate to clubs and organizations or good causes. I'll use MISD or Mesquite High School official letterhead. So letterhead is very important. Um, it, it gives a uh, feel of officialness when you send out uh, letters and documents. Um, so basically, in case you're wondering, a letterhead is a sheet of stationery with the name, address, logo, and sometimes other relevant information of an organization printed at the top, bottom left, or right side. Letterhead is used to send business letters and other forms of correspondence and is created on standard size 8.5 by 11 inch paper. Um, be sure that you read the strategies and design tips and uh, let's look on page 40. Um, always make sure you look in the gray area especially. Make sure it includes your band's logo so this is what I'm looking for when I'm grading. Your band's logo, your band slogan or tagline. We talked about that in the last lesson. Your contact information, same as the business card. Uh, and a thin line to divide the letterhead region and the rest of the page. So you need a line between the top letterhead margin and the actual space that uh, you're supposed to write a letter in. And, and that's where a lot of people mess up. They think a letterhead is like a full page document. No. You just want that, that standard layout with the contact for information somewhere on the document, but you want to leave enough room to um, write letters. Now let me show you an example of uh, what a letterhead is. This is the Stonehenge example right here. You got the um, logo here, you got the line between the letterhead and where you can write the letter and you got the contact information and then you got your slogan tagline. This is a pretty simple uh, design for a letterhead. Uh, some people get can get more elaborate. Make sure though a lot uh, make sure it's a light color where you write the letters because you want people to be able to read uh, what you're writing. You don't want it too busy so use good design techniques on that. Um, the page setup information and in design. You got number of pages one. It's on a portrait, eight and a half by eleven page. Now this is what's different from the business card. It gives you a choice. You can make your top margin one and a half inches to two and a half inches, depending on your design. Now if you want a pretty elaborate design design, go ahead and do two and a half inches. Left, right, and bottom margins 0.75 inches. Um, let me show you some examples of other students letterheads. See this this is a uh, one of my former students letterhead for a band called Dedalope. I, I really like it. See how they left the, the area for the letter writing white? Um, here's another one. They got that line right there and the logo kinda extends down past it. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then uh, this one for Onyx. And then Dinosaurs with Ray Guns, one of my all-time favorites. So, uh, see how they kind of highlight some of the, uh, with a different color, like if it says number or facts, web. Um, so when you save it, you're going to save it as uh, 1B if you're in 1B, underscore last name, first initial, underscore letterhead, and turn it in the <laughs> Dropbox. Um, Let's see. 
let's talk about uh, what you're going to do in InDesign. This is going to be done in Adobe InDesign. So you're going to open up InDesign. Make sure that you have the uh, preferences, units and increments. Make sure it's inches. And then you're going to create a new document. So you got, it's eight and a half by 11 inches. Or, orientation is portrait. There's no columns. Now you're going to uncheck here. Let's go ahead and make the um, left, right, and bottom 0.75. Then we're going to uncheck the link. And the top we're going to set to 2.5. And then you just click OK. So you got all your uh, margins and everything set up, and it looks just like that picture. And, and you're gonna, um, you can design this top part in Illustrator or Photoshop, or you can um, place your logo and work with some of the um, boxes and fill it, fill it in with uh, colors that way. Uh, that's your choice. I'm gonna leave that up to you, but it needs to be turned in in, in design. So um, that's how you set up a, a, a letterhead document. Does anybody have any questions about the letterhead assignment? OK, so refer to um, eLearn. Look at the student examples on designing a letterhead. And refer to the book, page uh, 39 through 41. And that's it for the letterhead.